We know far more about the surface of Earth's moon than we do about the floor of our own oceans, with man having so far mapped merely an estimated 5% of our own seven seas. With the most mysterious of places, other than that of the Bermuda Triangle, and indeed all the strange events which have taken place within its boundaries, is undoubtedly that of the inconceivably deep Mariana Trench. However, the mystery history selected for tonight's video are not found in the deep dark void of the Mariana Arcs Trench, but upon the land of its islands. Piercing the surface from far below, they possess a rather peculiar series of anomalies among the chain. Known as the Lattice Stones, these megalithic blocks' sizes vary from manageable, which conveniently allowed for an explanation for their purpose, but also, like so many other sites we cover, found all over the world, there exists hidden megaliths located amongst these sites which are simply enormous, thus throwing this current paradigm out of the proverbial window. Ranging from between 4 to 12 feet in height, with some of the standing stones being composed of a base column called a halogy, with a semicircular bowl like structure called tassa at the top. Lattice stones are claimed as having been used as foundations over which the ancient Chamorro people built their homes. The houses were constructed out of wood and had a characteristic A shaped thatch roof. These houses are generally thought to be for the high ranking or high caste families in the village although some of the largest latte stones are found in Guam Island's interior, where many of the low caste lived. However, the ancient people these stones are attributed to could have indeed discovered them in a similar condition to how we find them today. Thus, they may have found them ceremoniously significant, explaining why they would have been utilized into the construction of houses Yet any true logical, functional explanation for the larger stones is predictably absent. Furthermore, the larger blocks have been excavated, some of which weighing more than 10 tons, so they could have indeed been already submerged within the surrounding strata at their claimed time of creation. Thickening the plot as to the true origins and purpose of the stones, and also casting doubt on the current explanation for their age. The stones could have indeed once been used as stilts for homes, yet why a civilization capable of carving such large stones would have not have made the entire structures out of this material is yet another contradiction to the notion. Yet I digress. Who created the latte stones? Indeed, what did they use them for on this rather special set of islands, above this incredibly deep ocean part, yet once a towering mountaintop? It is an ongoing mystery which we find deeply compelling.